What's going on guys? Here's another tech tip for you when you're working on any of these inverter systems, this particular unit being a carrier green speed, they have a considerable amount of DC voltage output. You can see this unit is running at 341 DC volts. see we're, we're running an output of 340 DC volts which we are testing on our two test ports with our little alligator clips and you always see these warning labels on these units telling you to shut down the unit power it down for two minutes five minutes just depending on the particular unit uh, so you don't get shocked so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut this power off to this breaker behind me and we'll see how long that voltage stays on there So we've got our unit powered down. Well, you can tell our fan is spooling down now. And you can see our DC voltage. It's still way up there. So if you were to shut this power down and stick your hands in here, maybe pull the leads off to ohm out a compressor or anything, if you touch any of those terminals in there, that will light your world up. You can see we're still running at 230 DC volts. And it takes roughly about two minutes on these carrier green speeds for the voltage to go all the way down. I think at about a minute and a half, I was still sitting at somewhere around 19 volts the first time I did this, which is still more than a car battery. So if you touch the wrong thing and ground yourself out, um, touching the capacitors or touching any of the exposed terminals, you're going to get some, get some voltage that's going to bite you. See, we're, I think we're probably close to about a minute now, and we're still running 21 DC volts, so it just goes to show you that those warning labels are there for a reason, so just make sure that if you're going to uh, be working on these units that you do use a multimeter, and double check those terminals just to make sure you've bled all the voltage out of these boards before you reach in there and grab them, because it will definitely make for a bad day if you don't give enough time to, uh, to bleed that voltage down, so... Again, just wanted to show that, so uh, keep that in mind whenever you're working on these inverter drive systems, and hope that helps. Thanks for watching.